Welcome back to the Malted Man Cave. I'm Keith. I'm Dave. Tonight we're going to be reviewing some PD goodness from one of the newer Isla distilleries coming up. All right, so as I said, tonight we are going to be reviewing a peated whiskey from Kilhoman. This is actually the Kilhoman Makir Bay. Yeah. So I think we've only reviewed one other Kilhoman. I think we did the Loch Gorm a long time ago. Do you remember yeah. that? I do remember it, <clears throat> but not really. <laughs> There's been, we've done a lot down here, yeah. man. It's been it's hard yeah. to... What is this, like our 124th or something no, like that? Hey, most, most of these reviews are taking place... Late at night. Late at night. Yes. So, so if we suck, that's remind why. me a little bit about what I'm going to be. So Cahoman was was is one of the newer Isla distilleries. It was founded in 2005. Uh, it's kind of known. One one reason that I like Cahoman is they're they're kind of going in the same vein of like Springbank, Brooklady. So <clears> it's <throat> a bunch of hipsters that live up there and are like, we're going to do it the old. I don't way. know about that, but like, yeah, it's yeah. it's doing things small. Yeah. It's not cookie cutter trying to do right. things right. But they're known as the artisans. the independent, yeah, farm distillery, that, like artesian artisans. <laughs> So, and I really enjoy them because they, they do things the right way. They don't show filter. They don't color. They typically have higher ABVs, which speaking of, this comes in at 46% ABV. I'm pretty sure they pretty much only do 46 and above, which yeah. is a check for me. That's something I look for in a, in a distillery. <clears throat> um, non-colored, non-show filtered. I'm pretty sure this is mostly um, bourbon maturation. Um, we will put that, if I can find it on the interwebs, right there. Um, anything else I want to say about Cahoman? You ready to get into some whiskey? Oh, let's get into it, man. We got the Khabib fight tonight. <laughs> Dustin Poirier. Well, you know that already happened, right? Well, but we haven't, we don't know yet. We don't know. Yeah, because when you, he texted me, he's like, you want to do a review and watch the Khabib fight? And I was yeah. like, yeah. And then I saw that it was over like, like two. Two o'clock today. Did you, but did you see the results? Yes. Darn it. I won't tell you. I won't tell you. Um, you know, they ruined it. You it. I'm, I'm going to go out on a wild yeah. limb. <laughs> Just a wild limb. A wild limb from the guy that's undefeated. And, and say probably Khabib. <laughs> No. Okay. No, no. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll but we're going to kind of make this a little bit of a quickie and watch. We'll probably go like 30 minutes. Every yeah, time we say we're going to do a quick review, it ends up being like... We got the Texas uh, LSU, game, LSU game going which on. Which will kind of be the question of the night later. Yeah. It'll be more college football some. related. Mm. But without further ado, let's get into some whiskey. What do you got on the nose? Mm. Oh, man. It smells good. How, how good Cahoman was. Um... Sour apples, which led me to Keith made fun of me because he said I I get stuck on things, which is true because it might not stuck. I do the same thing too. Like I always say, like with Springbank, I say yes, uh, you know, uh, un uncooked sugar dough cookies. So. Green apple Jolly Ranchers. It def <clears throat> this 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 vein of Scotch <clears throat> always reminds me of it. Yeah, um, bourbon match bourbon matured yeah. scotches. Yeah. A little bit of mint in there. Of course, there's smoke. A light salt for me on the nose. Not too salty. Um, <clears throat> and once again, this reminded me of a cedar plank on a grill frying up some fish. Yep. yep. I said smoked perch or mm. smoked swordfish. Yeah. So specific. Um, I, I actually didn't write this in my notes. I'm actually just getting this right now. So, beep, 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 so beep, at my own, at, when I used to be a manager of a mental health group home with like severely mentally ill, we had like remember. 20 some people there and <laughs> in our break room, we had, we had a couple of bathrooms, but in one bathroom was the main one that the staff used. <laughs> and I used to always get lavender and vanilla, like the glade spray, like mm -hmm. after you go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so we used to always say that I used to love lavender and vanilla until that. that and then I was like, it always has kind of kind of lavender, yeah. vanilla, and crap. <laughs> but I do love lavender and vanilla when, it, when it's not infused with with poop from the person that went to the bathroom the time before. Ooh. But lavender and vanilla, 
Um, a little bit of like clean linen sheets or flannel. Man, that's good. Man, just, I was drinking before you got here. And some of the whiskeys I was drinking was really good. Mm -hmm. And some of the stuff was pretty expensive and like age for longer and like higher end. But just smelling this, this has just a quality for like a non-age statement. There's some, it's just rich. And it's funny because like I'm comparing, I'm comparing this in my mind intense. to what we just had. <clears throat> when? McAllen Classic Cut? <laughs> um... So then I get a, like a rich... How long do you think this was aged for? Six, seven, or eight years. So comparable to the... Yeah, probably a classic cut. But mm. it doesn't... <laughs> mm -hmm. Stop. Just just hold hold, hold your horses. Mm -hmm. um, a rich, like, like, barley sugar. Like, rich, rich barley sugar. I know that's such a, like cheesy stereotypical thing to say hey, but it's in it it is really there and it's like a really pleasant barley sugar note um burnt honey nut cheerios Ooh. in fact i've never had burnt honey nut cheerios no, but I, I would assume if they were slightly toasted or burnt it would kind of smell like this peach pears a little bit of touch of black pepper but not too intense salted pretzels there's something doughy, and then there's like the saltiness, you know, being an Isla distillery. Salted pretzels, man. I was going to put really, chocolate salted really pretzels pleasant. because I've been eating them by the hands full. <laughs> I don't necessarily get any chocolate, do you? Yes. You do? Uh, just because I, I think it was because I To me, was... it'd be like more like a white chocolate. The worst chocolate. You don't like white chocolate? It's oh. not. No, I like regular chocolate better than white chocolate. But I uh, get like no, no, the no, white I chocolate pretzels. Oh yeah, so so I like it. I can go with you on there. White I can't chocolate just pretzels. eat like a white chocolate candy bar. This is, it is white chocolate pretzels. Yeah, okay, we came to it. No, I've been eating chocolate covered pretzels, <clears> and <throat> the salt in the pretzels probably is what reminded me of it. Yep, that, like oak, like burnt twigs. And like the slightest, slightest touch of some kind of spicy, like cinnamon or something like that. What do you get on the palate? <clears throat> A lot of what I got on the uh, the nose, the uh, little saltier, um, the the mm. fishiness, the <clears throat> the Jolly Rancher stays. A little bit of little little bit of heat. Um, I put smoky leather. Reminds me of like a wearing a leather jacket that has been near a fire. Um, and then <clears> I put <throat> coffee grounds. A little bit of a... Nice Something bit. bitter coffee ground. Yeah. yeah. Whatever that is. Um, <clears throat> some dark fruits. And uh, I. it reminds me of one of those cheap pizzas. Dark fruits? Mm, yeah. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm like just a, asking. Like a... It's all subjective. Like a raisin. <laughs> um, and then I put burnt pizza crust, but like a Totino's pizza, like a one of those like waffle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Biting into one of the apple. Uh, I've actually put burnt apple pie crust. <sighs> you steal my note, Dave. My uh my <laughs> grandma doesn't burn her pie crust. No? Mm -mm. The petered out grandma? <laughs> the, only, still, the only grandma. She's still kicking around? Yeah, 95. Oh my word, 95. Lives, a, lives in she's her still own like, house. Does she walk? And... No, she's not <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> does she walk with like a walker? Or like had it? No, no. She, she can't walk, walk at all? No, she walks around her house. But like my mom <laughs> will like come up and it's like 10 a.m. And my grandma will still be. Does she now. live with your parents? No, no, she lives with her brother. Yeah, it's gotta be like if if you could like put a camera on the house, it would be like bigger than Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> the goings on of so two like, plus ninety year olds, like just arguing about like the dumbest crap, <laughs> or like like senior abuse. <laughs> My grandma like beats him. <laughs> hey man, as a counselor, I'm a mandated reporter. Be careful, <laughs> get report that. Don, get out of there. <laughs> All right, so I get. Mm. Man, definitely doesn't get dark fruits. <laughs> Dude, what you get? What dark you get. fruits, really? 
<laughs> well, normally, like, I'm not saying... I just have it tastes like raisins, subjective. man. It's and all I, subjective. I wanted to say dark fruit instead of raisins. You normally raisins. don't get dark fruits unless, like, it's, like, more cherry maturation. But that doesn't mean you don't get it. I'll just ask. <laughs> just ask. Normally, you get pears, apples, that kind of stuff with more bourbon maturation. But, you know... Oh, what? yeah, that's what you, I mean. You have been known... <laughs> You have been known to spot some notes that I don't get that I think are very impressive, Dave. Well, you better check it again. There's, there's some, there's some freaking there's white. Some maybe I'll go white raisins with you. <laughs> I'll go red raisins. White, white chocolate raisins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So on the palate, I get white chocolate, white chocolate, salted pretzel. Would you say there was raisins sprinkled into that? No, I would not. <laughs> I would not say that. <laughs> <laughs> Two scoops. Uh, I know this isn't a thing, but if you could have caramel apples with like some smoke infused in there somehow, I get that smoked caramel apples. Um, burnt marshmallows. Mm -hmm. If you burn the marshmallows a little bit. Were you looking at my notes? Please. We all know, Dave knows, I write my notes before he does, and he sees them as he writes his, so don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs> um, pears, apples, I feel like you're looking into the camera, <laughs> like, doing things. Do you see my little side eyes? Yes, I do all the time. Okay. All your little facial expressions towards me. Yeah, I do. Um, black pepper. Like apple pie. Stop it. I'm trying to think. Apple pie filling. Apple pie crust that's like slightly overcooked or burnt. Mm, like a Totino's pizza. <laughs> um, touch of cinnamon. Clean linen again, like linen sheets. Mm. Something dry, like a really drying at the end. It starts out kind of mouthwatering and then it kind of dries at the end. Yeah. And maybe the slightest, it's not like Lefroig adhesive bandage, but maybe this the slightest bit of it, adhesive bandages in the background. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. What do you get on the, on the finish? On the finish? Some more raisins. Some more raisins. <laughs> some raisins and some chocolate. Definitely. <laughs> um, so the, uh, the salty. David, David is going to yell at me after this review. <laughs> It's gonna be just just the malted Keith Cave. <laughs> How you're gonna leave me after this? <laughs> I'm starting my own channel. <laughs> Dave's whiskey corner. <laughs> Dave's whiskey corner. <laughs> we've Come already on. we've already been over this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down to the corner. Um, <laughs> Dusty Dave's whiskey corner. <laughs> Dusty Dave's. Um, so uh, <laughs> shout the, out to Dusty Dan's whiskey reviews. Oh, is there already a Dusty Dan? Yeah. Oh, wait, you're Dusty Daves. That. Dusty D Hey, Dan, you looking for a Dave? <laughs> um, so anyways, so the... Uh, you can have them. Yeah. The burnt wood, the fishiness, the saltiness, the sweetness, it all stays. It complements itself really well. It does dry, like you were saying. It just kind of like whoo, comes off your tongue. <clears throat> and in that sense, I think it's more of a medium finish. Yeah, doesn't doesn't last too long, but it's it's definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. Makes an impact while it's there. Yeah, I agree. It's more of a medium, like I don't know, that. That would be the only criticism. It it's, seems a little bit thin. Yeah, but I just had a bunch of cast strength whiskeys before Whispy. this, so that that may be influencing my feeling. So, kind of yeah, medium. But then you get apples, pears, burnt apple pie crust. Burnt twigs, burnt marshmallows, mm. white chocolate salted pretzels, prunes, raisin, no. <laughs> dark red fruit raisins. <laughs> um, and then, like you said, it starts out mouth watering. <laughs> Dave's gonna kill me. Dave's... I brought my tool bag. That's over interesting. There. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, we're we're derailing, guys. That's all right. Uh, anything else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Malt Man Cave Mark, out of 100, what are you going to give this? Hey, I really enjoyed this. I think it's a... Um, I'm going to give it a round 9-0. Wow. Yeah, I really like that it. That good? Yeah. Man. So, 
Originally, I was planning on giving this an 87, but mm -hmm. tasting this tonight, it tastes really freaking good. In the so, company you're with. Yeah, I'm going to give it, yeah, for sure. 88? Have I nudged you up to an 88? 80, almost an 89 tonight. Almost an 89. Like so I'll say 88 of 100. Knocking on an 89. For a non-age statement whiskey, this is freaking fantastic. And yeah. I would recommend this to anyone. I would always have this on the bar. Kilhoman's doing good stuff. I can't imagine how good they're going to be when they actually have like 10 and 12 and 15 and 21-year-old whiskey. It's just going to be amazing. So look out for Kilhoman. Hopefully they don't kind of fall in love with themselves and, you know, out prices by charging crazy prices. But Kilhoman is, they make some good whiskey. Those crazy beatniks <laughs> doing things the right way. The old way. So, question of the night. Uh, I introduce it. Uh, college football is happening. Um, <clears throat> we're running late for our day. Wanted to talk a little bit about it. Early predictions for the year. What Who's going to win? And yeah, what we think is going to happen. And who looks good yeah. so far? How about you? So, <clears throat> I'm going to start with who I think looks good so far. Um, obviously, Clemson does. Um, Oklahoma looks good. Yeah, but I would... Sometimes, I mean, Oklahoma has been really good, but sometimes I feel like it's fool's gold when they run the score on these, on these scrubs. Not that Ohio State can say anything when we beat FAU and eh. I don't know. Cincinnati, like... Cincinnati was eleven and two last year, so I don't think today's win was beating them forty-two to nothing. No. Fields, man, Justin Fields looked like he looks like the truth. He looks like he almost can pass as good as Dwayne Haskins, but he can run like Braxton Miller or like Barrett. JT Barrett. So the Buckeyes look really, really good, and our D finally looks like the silver bullet defense should look like. Yeah, Alabama is always going to be there. So Clemson, Alabama, Oklahoma. It's that would be my final four. I would probably say Clemson, Oklahoma, Alabama, Ohio State. I'm gonna put... Michigan did not look so good. They almost got beat by Army. Did you see that? Yeah, like they barely beat them. What do you think about? Uh, you think Notre Dame can do it again? No, I hate Notre Dame. Sorry, they're, what are they sitting there's at? So like many Notre, there's like so many Notre Dame, Dame fans we're going to lose subscribers, but I can't stand Notre Dame. I don't know, man. It, Actually, I, I don't hate so, them as much as I hate some SEC teams. I just don't understand how, man, it's a dying breed. They're going to have to join a, a, uh, yeah, a league. league. It's not fair. Yeah. yeah. It's not fair, fair to them or other people when they get in, when they haven't played in a conference championship game and all that. They just Or they need to up the spots of the how many the playoffs yeah. is. I agree. Um, so I think those teams look good. I would agree with you on those 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 four. Maybe um, a couple at-larges. Yeah. I'd like to see a couple other Big Ten schools do well. I was, gonna, I was thinking Penn State was going to be pretty good, but they were struggling with Buffalo for a while. I feel like... Although we remember the year that we struggled with Buffalo with Khalil Mack. Oh yeah, that's right. Before anyone knew had any idea who Khalil Mack was, he was like wrecking our Boom. offensive line. We're like, who is this guy? Buffalo? <laughs> what Khalil Mack, where does this guy come from? How is he not like at a bigger division one school? But yeah. so I'm gonna be a homer and I'm gonna predict the Buckeyes. Now I would not have said that earlier, just because I was not Confident about our defense. I thought our offense would be good again. Yeah. But our defense looks nasty. Chase Young, Jeffrey Akuda, yeah. Barrett Browning. We're legit. The uh our six year senior running back. <laughs> Dobbins. He's not that old. It, it just, feels it like seems yeah. like it's because he played really early. Right, right. He played like as a true freshman. Right. It just feels like he's been around forever. So who do you think's gonna win? Uh Man, I'm going to be a homer, too, and I'm going to say uh, Alabama. <laughs> but you don't like Alabama. I know. I know. Yeah, it's kind of hard to bet against Alabama. Or Clemson, uh, man, yeah. Um, these days. I would like to see Ohio State. I would like to see anybody new besides uh, – I even throw in a, another SEC school, but that's probably not likely because there is no parity in the SEC anymore. It's it's not it's, it's not the golden age of two thousand two to like two thousand twelve when everybody was just good. top to bottom Pick them. were just so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And it, it pains me to say that. Yeah, I actually trash. think top to bottom the Big Ten has actually kind of taken them as top to bottom. Yeah, I mean Alabama, like Georgia, and a couple of them, you know, they're really stinking good. Yeah, but so. all right, well, let us know who you guys think is gonna win the NCAA college, college football, football playoffs. Yeah, playoffs. Um, let us know who you think looks good and. Thank you guys. I miss the BCS. 
You do? No. I was about to say no what? one ever. What? So I think we should do a sixteen playoff. I think eight's too many. Then so right it, now. Yeah. Well, this see is, how six is. I like. So college football is awesome because every game matters, mm -hmm. and like even if they're playing FAU or Buffalo, I'm watching. And because if you lose, you you have a really good chance that you're not playing. So that's I don't want to lose that. And the more, the bigger you make the playoff. First of all, it's kind of hard on student athletes to play that many games. But then there's all kinds of other things. That's why we should six pay. game is perfect. So every you know what is it FBS? The, what is it, the big schools? It's just FBS. Yeah, yeah. Like the Power Five conferences. There you go. I can't talk tonight. What is it FBS? FCS. Whoever wins the the championship game of their conference, whoever wins their conference from the Power Five gets to go, and then an at bid large for like, you know, like Boise State or, or Florida Atlantic, Florida Atlantic, or like a team that has like a Cinderella season that they get a chance against the big boys. Is it Florida Atlantic that is still counting themselves as like national championships? They have like a. <laughs> Is that, I don't know if it was them or like Central Florida, maybe Central Florida. Yeah. Yes, yeah, UCF. They've got like oh a gosh. banner up because they were like undefeated or whatever. For shame, UCF. For shame. But thank you guys as always for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave us a comment of the night, and as always, Scotch is king, but bourbon is best.